guys, so today I thought that I would just share with you guys like my life story so you guys could get to know me a little bit better, but I'm going to pre-warn you guys that this is like kind of touchy and touchy, this is going to get into a touchy subject um, of bullying for me, so please don't like, I'm not telling you guys this to get any sympathy or like a pity party or anything, but I'm just making this so that people with bullying problems like they know that there are people out there and that they can definitely get through it. So I'm going to start out with when I was nine years old, I lived in Washington State and my parent, my dad got a promotion and so we had to move down to Florida. And like I had already been to like four schools in my life at the age of nine. So like it wasn't that big of a change, but I mean, then when I moved here, I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy that it's like hot and stuff and not snowing everywhere and so then I got into fourth grade when I first moved in here and then I have to move again to fifth grade and then by that time at the end of that year it was sixth grade time which is middle school so now I've been to six or seven schools and um so when I got to sixth grade like everything was fine because I had moved into to middle school with all my fifth grade friends so I knew some people this time and but there were also new people from other schools and when I went there I was I made wrong choices and I was in the popular group or what they call it and I wasn't very like uh, observant of my surroundings surroundings so I had said some mean things about people like I'm sure everyone does but then I was like trying to hold back everything and then um, I started getting bullying so I decided like I need to get away from that popular crowd maybe that's just why so I didn't really talk to anybody about it and then it came to the fact where everyone was spreading rumors about me calling me ugly like everything like you could do to like a sixth grader to like make their life miserable like it was horrible and um, I'm just gonna say now I'm in eighth grade so this was all two years ago and then I found my I re like reunited with my best friend because we had spread apart when I went to the popular group and then I I realized that the popular group were treating me like robots. They would tell me to do things. I would do it. They were, if I liked a shirt, they'd be like, oh no, you cannot wear that shirt because I have, a, like, because it was too good, like, it looked too good on me and they didn't want me to look better than them. So I realized that I was being treated like a robot and I reunited with my best friend, Emily, and her and me are still friends today. And um, so then when I got out of the popular group, I was still getting bullied. Like, it had gotten worse. and. My family didn't know about it, but then I had started acting up a little bit because, like, bullying was, like, a big deal to me in six, sixth grade. Like, I was still a little girl. And, um, so I didn't talk to anybody about it except for Emily. And then my parents were, like, I'm just, I don't know if I should say this, but, like, they were thinking about getting a divorce because I was, they were having uh, arguments about how to raise me, I guess. So I felt it was, like, all my fault. And so then I started, like, becoming, like, unsociable, not wanting to talk to anybody except for my best friend, Emily. And then I decided that it was just too much. All the bullying, like, was too much. I was so tired of it. And I was at the point of, like, quitting life. Like, I wanted to die. Like, but I didn't know how to do it. So I told Emily that. And then she decided to, one day when I wasn't home, I don't know what I was doing, but she decided to come over and talk to my mom about it. And she, like, told my mom everything. And so... I'm so happy she did because I wouldn't be where I am now so she did that and um, so then my mom had a talk with me and she was like I had no like it was before school so I was of course in tears going to school that day because she was like I don't know what we did wrong like she felt like she had failed it as a parent but I was like no you didn't it's just people at school and um, I was like feeling ugly depressed and then my mom was like, do we need to get you into counseling? I was like, no, mom, I'm not like a bad child or anything. It's other people that should be getting into counseling. And so then it took about a week to finally like get into the right group. Not, no, it didn't take a week. It actually took a year to get into the right group, but it mm -hmm. took a week to get the right mindset back after me and my mom had a talk. And so this was about the end of sixth grade. And then over summer, I was like, kind of getting more of a confidence level back but then that's when I started watching YouTube videos and I was like okay now I, I know how to dress right I know how to look pretty in other people's eyes and then I was like but now what I need to do is feel pretty on the inside so 
then I went back to school in seventh grade. I, I was happy then, like, I'm a straight A student and I feel like I was finally proud of myself because I'm straight A's my whole life and I, my parents were like, we're proud of you for that, you've grown to a beautiful young woman, like all that stuff. And um, so this is just the beginning of this year now and uh, I decided, you may not have heard of this before, but Christy Charlington is a big supermodel and she's like friends with Tyra Banks and stuff like that and that's actually my second cousin. And so I was like looking at pictures of her and like, I was like, oh my gosh, she really is a model. And I was like, I want to be a model. So my parents were like, it's not that easy. So I went to a photo shoot and I did all this cool stuff and like, I finally felt pretty. I was like, I'm happy with my life. And that's when all the bullying like stopped, but it restarted, but it didn't get to me anymore. I was like, you know, as long as I'm happy with myself and I'm surrounding myself with bright people, then it's okay. Like I, I'm fine now. So. I got into the modeling and then I had three people, like, not three people, three agencies, like, fighting over me, like, they were like, oh no, we want her for this, we want her for that, blah, 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 and I was like, uh, mom, I don't know what to do, like, I'm still in school, I can't, like, I don't know, I didn't know what to do, and so, then I decided to drop all of them, after doing research on them, they were like, they're not as good as I thought they were, so then I went to a different modeling agency and I was like, okay, I like them, so then they wanted me, but they have to wait till my braces get off, so that's my modeling story, well, kind of, and then also a couple months ago, I did, like, I still do some photo shoots and runways and stuff like that, and I actually won a runway competition, which I'm kind of proud of, and yeah, so now, um, then I decided, I actually wanted to, in December of 2011, so almost 2012 this year, I wanted to start a, a YouTube channel, but I was like, I don't want to get judged by this, and I had already been judged from modeling, like, people I heard rumors, like, they don't get to me, but, anymore, and, um, they were like, oh, did you hear about Trinity, like, she's a model now, how could she be a model, like, I don't care, if you want to say that to me, like, come say it to my face at least, like, I'm not going to care, but just don't go spreading around so everyone can come tell me, but then, then I decided this summer that I was sometimes going, like sometime in the summer I was going to start filming and then I did and I feel like now like my life is what they call perfect but like I have like perfect friends and I'm just surrounded by good people and a healthy family and I think that's all that somebody can ask for and so yeah that's where I am now in my life and I'm definitely way better than I was at the like beginning of seventh grade and now I'm going into eighth grade so I'm 13 and I feel like already like three years of my life changed like I went through like 10 years it feels like so yeah that's my story and please don't like I don't know just don't hate on me but also don't give me a pity party on this video like I don't know what to say but yeah so thank you so much for watching and see you all next time bye